Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing The Suffering, level 10. You've mistaken me for someone else. Continuing where we left off, we just made it through the quarry, and now we're heading toward the asylum. So let's get started. As you can see, we're back outside. If you look to the left, you see this truck. Next to it is some ammo and flashlight batteries. Now straight ahead, you see this hole in the fence. That's where we need to go. But over on the right is some more ammo to pick up. Now once you go through the hole in the fence, there's a dead security guard over here, and he's got some Tommy gun ammo. A face full of it. Now over here we've reached this giant wall, so we need to climb over the wall. Very convenient that there's some rocks over here. Now be careful when you drop down, don't jump off this wall or you will take a lot of damage on your way down. you were all mature. How old did you think I was? I felt so young with you. Now over here is our all dead wife in this gazebo. So jealous. <laughs> we were so good together for a while. Even when I left, I still loved you, T. I thought about you every day. I still do. Don't you wish we could go back to that gazebo? It was all so perfect. But sometimes, I think you only brought me suffering. Now take note of those enemies that were standing next to her at the end there. We will be encountering them later. Now as soon as we go back, we are attacked by some burrowers. Okay, now we're going to backtrack to where the wall was, where we dropped down. And we're going to go to the left. Now, if you search through the trees here, you can see this dead body. And there's a map next to it. Make sure to pick that up. So we're going to continue straight ahead from here.
Okay, I can hear another burrower. There he is. Now all the way in the back is another dead body. The doctor looked inside my head and took the bag out. So here we have some more flashlight batteries and health. Now, as you can see, there's the gazebo again, so this is all one big circle. And this way will lead us to the asylum. But we're not going to go that way yet. If we go to the back, here's another dead body. Now there should be another dead body around here, close to where the gazebo is. Okay, here it is. Dr. Killjoy made the voices in my head go away. Now all I hear is his voice. It is really dark around here, so it's easy to get lost. So now over here is another way into the asylum through this hole in the wall next to this dynamite and flashbang grenades. So if we go in through this hole in the wall, we'll be attacked by a bunch of slayers and some burrowers. Here's some ammo if you need it. So we can't go through these big doors. Now over here you can see this door that's blocked by these crates. So we need to get those out of the way.
So this is the way into the asylum. But I'm not going to go through that door yet. So as you can see, here's another dead body. And they're all talking about Dr. Killjoy. So he's the one who killed all these people. So as you can see, there's a lot of flashlight batteries around. So this is a good area to stock up on those. And now we're back to the front of the asylum. Back to where we were before. Now if you go to the door over here, by the ammo, it's locked. So now I'm going to go ahead and save my game, because as soon as we go through this door, this will start the next level. And this will be the end of The Suffering, level 10, You've Mistaken Me for Someone Else.